Good morning. This is Mike Johnson with the National Weather Service in San Angelo, Texas, and this is the morning weather briefing for Sunday, March 1st, the first day of meteorological spring. Well, apparently Mother Nature did not get that memo. Uh, we're looking at icy conditions this morning across much of west central Texas. We do have a winter weather advisory for all of our 24 counties, excluding Crockett and Sutton. The areas in pink on this map uh, are under the winter weather, win, winter weather advisory until 9 a.m. Uh, farther north across the big country, the winter weather advisory continues through noon. Uh, basically, temperatures are at or just below freezing across the area, and that's resulting in some slick and hazardous roads, especially those bridges and overpasses. Uh, we do, uh, even though temperatures are remaining near freezing here in the San Angelo area, Concho Valley, and Point South, uh, we do have some uh, ice freezing on elevated surfaces, but the roads are generally wet. However, the farther north you go, uh, toward Interstate 20, uh, the uh, cooler temperatures are keeping the uh, the roads in worse shape than they are across the Concho Valley. Well, once this ice finally melts off by midday, uh, we're looking at continued uh, cool and damp conditions across west central Texas. Uh, we'll see highs only in the 30s across the big country. Be a little bit warmer the farther south you go. San Angelo in the lower 40s, and we may be uh, touching 50 degrees in the Ozona area this afternoon. Uh, but we will continue to see light rain and drizzle across the area. Uh, shouldn't see very heavy amounts uh, throughout the day as precipitation should be pretty light. But that uh, trend's going to continue uh, tomorrow as well. And we could see some uh, some light freezing drizzle and freezing rain overnight. But temperatures will be right around 32 degrees. And that should keep ice accumulations from being very significant during the overnight hours. So any impacts... Uh, over the next 24 hours should be relatively minor compared to what we're going to see this morning. Uh, temperatures on Monday should be a few degrees warmer than what we're going to see today, uh, with highs generally in the 40s. Uh, we'll see quite a, quite a big change on Tuesday. Uh, much warmer conditions will develop across the area. We will see rain continue in the forecast, mainly east of an Abilene to San Angelo line, but the temperatures will be noticeably warmer. Uh, jumping up a good 30 degrees. Uh, we do expect temperatures in the low to mid 70s across most of west central Texas. Uh, cloud cover hanging around could keep a few areas in the 60s though, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, but big changes are coming as this uh, warm-up will be very short-lived. Uh, we do have much colder temperatures on tap for the middle of the week. Uh, right now we're tracking a cold front that looks like it's going to move into the area on Wednesday. Uh, high temperatures on Wednesday will probably be during the morning hours, with temperatures tumbling down into the upper 20s and lower 30s during the afternoon hours. Uh, we could see some, uh, some light wintry precipitation, namely some freezing rain, uh, freezing drizzle, or some sleet develop, mainly across the big country during the day. Uh, but... Uh, during the overnight hours, we will see a chance for snow across all of west central Texas. At this time, we're looking for accumulations to remain light. However, this is still four days out in advance, so things could change uh, quite significantly uh, over the next few days. So be sure and check back, uh, get your uh, updated forecast uh, pretty regularly here over the next couple of days, and we'll continue to track this system.